in this video i am explaining an another pattern for displaying the data so the pattern model is something like this n is equal to 5 that means 5 rows i want what is the data i want to display here 5 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 3 2 1 2 1 and then 1 <coughs> this is the model this is a pattern i want to display this is a pattern i want to display this is a pattern i want to display so to display this pattern what type of logic to be written so write a python code for displaying this type of pattern this is called one row another row this is called another row these are called what rows and this is developed by writing a beautiful python code so let us accept how many rows five means five rows if i say six i'll be getting six depends on number of rows we can display how do you display this now I am writing, to display the row number, I will write one for loop. To display the values in every row, I will take another for loop. Let us start an implementation, n is equal to 5, for example. I will write one for loop now. Very easy. For i in range of, range of, here I am having 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is nothing but a range of values from bottom to top in decreasing order. So, I will write it n comma. I want to stop at 1. There is 1 to display. I will write 0 to stop. So, I am reducing 1 to it. So, minus 1 I will write it. This is called outer loop. So, this will supply the value of row. If I write print of i, it will print 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 like that. But our intention is what? Not to display 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the fifth one, I want to display 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the row format. For that, I will write one more for loop. That means i is containing the value called 5. For that 5, I have to display this type of row. For that, I will write one more for loop here. For within the for loop, I will write one indentation. This is an indentation. Inner for loop I am writing. <coughs> for j in, for j in range of, range of i, that is called 5 comma i have to display up to one that means zero means i have to stop it comma minus one i will write it indentation of inner for loop i will print print of j end is equal to some space some space i am writing this is called inner for loop this is inner for loop out this is an outer for loop out this is called outer for loop. This is called outer for loop. This is called inner for loop. For each value of outer for loop, inner for loop will be repeated finite number of times. So, if I take my flow here, if I take it, for i in range of n comma 0, n is called what here? 5, 5 to 0 comma minus 1 this meaning is n can be any positive value i can take it so in this case i is 5 here i am taking 5 comma 0 comma minus 1 so j value is going to be called 5 print of j this 5 will print so from here it is going to the inner for loop what is the value of j minus 1 5 minus 1 is called what 4 will be supplied and j 4 is printed Going to the inner for loop again, what is this minus 1? 4 minus 1 is called what? 3. And what is printed here? 3 printed. Again going back, minus 1. It is called 2. 2 is printed. 
next it is going to the inner for loop again minus 1 2 minus 1 is called what 1 printing this one printing this one going back to this it is becoming 0 it stops coming out of the inner for loop coming out of the inner for loop I have to bring my cursor down to bring my cursor down I am writing here print off <coughs> Whenever I say print off, from here it is going to where? Bring the cursor to this line. Now the cursor is here, going to the outer for loop. Going to the outer for loop. What is my outer for loop value? 5 minus 1, which is going to be called what here? 4. Earlier it was 5, now it is 4. Enter inside of this loop. Again it is going to be called what here? J is 4 j i is 4 j 4 comma 0 comma minus 1 and first time it is supplying 4 j 4 is printed and now cursor is giving some space going to the inner for loop 4 minus 1 it is called 3 j is 3 3 is printed going to the inner for loop 3 minus 1 which is called 2 2 is printed Going to this place 2 minus 1, stepping this minus 1, it is called 1. 1 is printed. 1 is printed. And then going to this place, it is becoming 0. 0 means stop. It is coming out of the inner for loop. Now the cursor is coming to this line. Because I want to bring my cursor to the new line, I can use even backslash n also. I can use it. Print off. It is going to the outer for loop. 4 is already there, minus 1, it is becoming 3 here. Now, i is called 3, enter inside of it. For j in range of 3 comma 0 comma minus 1, the value called what here, 3 will be kept, print j, 3 is printed, end is equal to some space. Now, it is going to be going to this place, 3 minus 1, which is called 2, 2 is printed, 2 is printed. Now, I am entering into going to this minus 1 once again. It is called 2 minus 1 is called 1. 1 is printed. Going to back to this place. Again, it is becoming 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 means a stop. It is coming out of the inner for loop. Print off. Bringing the cursor to the new line. Next row, it is going back to this area of this one. 3 minus 1 is called 2 here i is called 2 and j in range of what 2 comma 0 comma minus 1 which is getting printed 2 here end is equal to some spacing go back to this line minus 1 2 minus 1 is called 1 here 1 is kept into j that is 1 is printed next is going to back this is going to be 2 minus 1 which is 1 is printed d is becoming 1 minus 1 0 0 means what false Coming out of that, I am bringing the cursor to the new line, which is going back to this once again to outer loop, which is called 2 minus 1, which is called 1, and this is you come down, this is called J to what? 1 comma 0 comma 1, which is getting printed 1. Now going back to this place, 1 minus 1, 0, 0 means stop, coming out of that print, cursor is here. This is my loop is, this is my format is printed. To print this number of rows, I am using this loop. To print the row elements, I am going for what? Inner loop I am using. This is the code for implementing this pattern. So, I will write the logic for it. Let me show you the logic for executing output I want to show you. Let's consider the pie charm. This is my pattern to display. There I am asking n is equal to int of input of enter 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 how many how many rows you want how many rows you want if number of rows are less than or equal to zero say invalid print of what invalid input invalid input if it is s I'll go to this place. If it is else, I'll write a logic. I'm writing for i in range of 
n comma 0 comma minus 1 n comma 0 comma minus 1 there I will go for inner loop for j in range of what i comma i comma 0 comma minus 1 there I am printing j comma end is equal to some space space I am writing j comma written end of this print off now I am going to bring to the new line here print off this is going to be a pattern of it so there I am going to run this outer loop deals with the number of rows inner loop deals with the number of elements in the row let's run this code see this example I'm going to see run this example say 5 it is going to print 5 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 3 2 1 2 1 and then 2 let's run this once again here by giving bigger number I'll go for 10 when I go for 10 see the pattern of it which is going to contain all these things like this when I go for entering wrong number something like minus 5 invalid input when I enter 0 invalid input nothing is going to be so when I enter the element called 20 20 20 it is going to display the result like this see this result this is going to be the result like this you enter considerable amount of result so 10 here and it is going to print the result like this this is the code for displaying the pattern of this so i hope the program is more clear for more videos like and subscribe naresh it channel thank you